Hello. Today I want to talk about the import HTML function and the filter views command in Google Sheets. So import HTML does exactly what it sounds like. It takes content from a web page from somewhere else and brings it into the spreadsheet like actual data. So what I have here is a list of university courses, where the course is listed, and the status of whether the course is open or closed. But as you can see, it's sort of hard to sort through this and see which classes are open and which are closed. What I'm going to do is take this information and bring it into a spreadsheet. To do that, I'm going to use the import HTML function. So I'll bring up the function by typing equals import HTML, and then you can see that there are three parts to the function. The first is the URL, the address for the web page itself. The second is the query, and the third is the index. So the URL is easy enough. I just take it from the page and paste it into the command, being sure to put it in quotation marks. Now, for the query, you need to specify whether you're importing information in a list or table format. In our particular example, we're importing tabular data, so I'm going to type table. Now there can be more than one table on a page, so for the index you have to list which table you're importing. Now all the content will import into our sheet. One of the greatest things about this function is that it remains live connected to the website. So if a change is made on the website, it will also update in my sheet. Next I want to talk about filter views. Now I want to click on this button here to turn on filter views. You'll notice that this creates a drop down menu at the top of my selected column here. When I click on it, you'll see all the information contained in that column as choices. I'm going to hit clear to clear them all, and then just select open. Now all the options here will be the open courses. I can also save this view, which I do by clicking on the filter menu and choosing save as filter view. Next, I'm going to turn off my current view, and instead look at the closed courses. I'm going to save that one as well. That way I can easily flip back and forth between viewing the open and closed courses. That's basically it. Using these tools, you can import information from a website and easily isolate the information you're looking for using filter views. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. Have a great day.